Hey guys, it's Kelsey. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a Valentine's Day makeup look. Um, hopefully I'll get another one in before Valentine's Day, but if not, I'm so sorry. Um, it's just really hard to find time with two kids right now. Um, and honestly, the only time, the only reason why I'm able to do it right now is because Dallas literally took the kiddos out somewhere out of the house um, to go pick up some food. So I'm going to try and do this kind of quickly. Um, and yeah, so this is just like a quick little Valentine's Day look. Um, I am going to use the Huda Beauty Nude Palette. Um, I've used this quite a lot uh, in the past and this is what it looks like. Um, I really, really like the eyeshadows in here and the shimmer shades just are so good. Um, so this is, it's just a fun palette to work with, especially if you really like pink, um, pink eyeshadow or pink undertones. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be using. Um, to start with, I'm actually, I think I'm going to do, no, no, I'm not. I thought I was going to do my eyes first, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do my face, um, and then my eyes. So hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully we don't have too much fallout, but for primer, I'm going to use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Um, I've really been enjoying this one with the um, Huda Beauty Stick Foundation. Um, I just think they work really well together. Uh, and I love the finish of that foundation on my skin. It just kind of makes everything seem really, um, I don't know, like soft blended. I don't know. It's just really easy to work with for me and agrees with my type of skin. So, and I, I lean, um, pretty, pretty normal, maybe slightly dry. Um, especially since it's winter right now here. So I need chapstick desperately. I'm still testing like all sorts of chapsticks. This one is, uh, Atlanta Lips 101 Ointment Multi-Purpose Super Balm. Um, I would not use this on a regular basis. Like, as a lip balm, I think it's too tacky. So that's just my personal opinion on that one, but it's right here. My lips need it, so <laughs> that's what we're using. So again, I'm using the Huda Beauty um, Stick Foundation. Um, like I said, I really, really like this one and the shade I'm using is toasted coconut, which is just a tad bit too dark. Um, but I haven't been able to purchase the shade that I need. So this is where we're at in life. <laughs> um, but yeah. I guess I have a mirror right here that I should be using, huh? Um, so to blend out the foundation, I'm going to use the, uh, makeup eraser sponge, just probably like my favorite sponge to use. Mine's dirty. I need to clean it again. Just finding the time in the day. Somebody, if they have, if you have tips for like managing two kids, let me know. Cause whew, I swear like parents, like my mom being a single mom raising me, made it look so easy. And I just, it's not okay she had me fooled so anyways um I do like to spray I don't know if I already said this I'm so sorry but I do like to spray the milk makeup um hydro grip and set and refresh spray um onto the sponge and I don't know I honestly, I don't know if I've used this foundation without doing it this way. Um, and this is just my lazy way of dampening my beauty sponge, to be honest, because I don't get up to go to the bathroom to wet my, my sponge. So I usually, I usually do do, uh, I usually do use a, uh, setting sprayer of some sort or a mist of some sort. But I feel like this and this foundation seem to work really, really well. Um, again, I haven't tried it any other way though. So, okay. Um, for concealer, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Um, again, this is just like 
one of my go-tos when it comes to applying concealer. So um, it's a great one. There are other ones that I like though too, especially ones that are cheaper, like the e.l.f. one. Um, that one's really good. Uh, it's like a clear, like you can see the color and then it's got a black lid. I really, I do like that one a lot. It reminds me of this uh, concealer. Okay, and then I like to just do my chin a little bit too to brighten. And we'll do a little here too. Just pretty much any area that I think looks a little dark, uh, I will add some concealer to and then lighten it up. Okay, for setting powder, I'm using the Beauty Bakery Flower um, setting powder, and this is in the shade Oat. Um, again, I really like this because it has that um, little thing in here that you can like twist to open um, to get the product out and then you can close it back up. I find that no matter what I put powder in, it ends up like exploding all over. <laughs> so this to me is a really nice feature. Um, I wish like every setting powder had this, but um, yeah. For um, for bronzer, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty um, Sun Stalker Bronzer in Shady Biz. I really like this bronzer. Um, I think it just goes on very nicely, smooth. Um, I think it's a great color, and yeah, I use this literally almost every time I well, literally every time I do my makeup now, I use this. Um, so I'm surprised I haven't hit pan on this yet, but thankful. I also really, really like this brush because it just like hugs the, the corner of your, or the side of your cheeks really, really well. Um, so yeah, and it's soft, which is always a plus because you shouldn't use really harsh tools on your skin. Kind of just blend that down from my forehead onto my cheeks and the side of my face. A little under my chin. So this next one, the blush that I use from Fenty, um, it's actually, I think, highlighter. It's the Freestyle Highlighter Duo in Girl Next Door and Chic Freak. But I think this is like the perfect blush combo in my opinion. And yes, it's shimmery. So like if you're not interested in highlight, you know, then this is probably not for you. But I think this is perfect. Um, obviously <laughs> it's be it's abused. It's fine. I literally love this. Um, and I get compliments almost every time I wear it too. So um, if that says anything, <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I just really enjoy this one. So I just kind of like swirl uh, my brush in both, both sides of this and then apply to the cheeks. nose highlight in there while we're while we're at it oh wow that was dangerous all right and then I like to just take a big fluffy brush like this and blend it all together and this is why I don't do my brows first because 
I go crazy with this brush. It is so big. Um, I am going to go ahead and do my brows now. Minked out with his back already. Well, excuse me, ma'am. All right, <clears throat> so for eyeshadow, I'm going to use um, again, I'm using that Huda Beauty nude palette, um, and I'm going to go into the shade Lace, which is this first one in the middle row. Um, and I'm just using a big fluffy brush for this one. Okay, next I'm going to use this big fluffy um, angled brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Tickle, which is this one um, here in the middle row as well. It's like the third one in. And just slightly tap into that. I'm gonna apply that to the outer corners of the eye. Okay, and then for the center of the eye, I'm going to use the shade Daydream which is that second color in the middle, the middle row right here. It's the shimmer shade. Um, and what I'm going to do is I just use like a little tool to kind of scrape a little bit out. Um, and then I'm going to use that, um, metal manipulator by Mario. It's like makeup by Mario's, uh, line. Um, and it just kind of looks like a little eyedropper. Um, and you just drop one, maybe two drops of this in, with the eyeshadow and mix it together. And then for the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with this shade Tease down here. Looks like this. Um, and I'm just putting that on like a very skinny um, angled brush. All right. And that does it for the eyeshadow. Um, I'm gonna just take this NARS um, black eyeliner pencil and line, um, line my top eyeline. <laughs> um, next, I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the Melk Hydro Grip Setting and Refreshing Spray. Um, just give it a nice little shake. Um, and then while we're waiting for that to dry, I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with um, the MAC Lip Liner in the shade Whirl. Um, this is one of my favorite shades by them. I think it's almost everybody's favorite shade. And then um, for lipstick, we're going to use the Smashbox Liquid Always On Liquid Lipstick in Babe Alert.
And for mascara, I'm going to use the Maybelline Last Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect Mascara. Um, I like this because the wand um, is angled, um, and I think that just kind of helps lift the lashes a little bit. Um, and then after this, we're done, you guys. All right, so that concludes this look. Um, this is a lot of fun to do. I love playing with pink, so it's definitely like right up my alley, but I thought this would be a great, um, it's a pretty simple uh, Valentine's Day look. So yeah, um, if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. Also on your way out, be sure to hit that subscribe button and happy Valentine's Day, you guys. Love you. Mwah.